Hey guys, it's Ian and Evan down here at the LEA Group. We got some amazing tips for you to separate yourself from the pack. If you want to go from being a contender to a pretender, this video is for you. Hey, this one's for the Navy SEALs, not the Baby SEALs. Guys, right now, this is going to be the great separator in how you can stand out in every way. So let's hop into it. Three tips that are going to separate you. Check it out. Let's go. Guys, by the end of this video, you're gonna have every tip that we know to be able to provide value to your customers in advance. So before you even meet them, they're gonna have enough value that they trust you. You got rapport with them. They know that you're the person that they trust to do business with you. Yeah, have you ever had that customer that you guys just meet, you guys click with, and then you guys never fall out of rapport or connection? Guys, it didn't just happen because you just met them on the lot, you said a couple slick tricks to them, and then you closed them. No, it happened because you guys had the connection, and right now, connection is at an all-time low. So, how do we fix that? How do we make sure from the time that we meet this customer, our connection stays at an all-time high? Evan and I weren't that good at this. To start our careers off, we had to figure out some things that would separate us. And today, that's what you're gonna learn. So Evan, how about we handle the first one on the phone? If you acquire a customer on the phone, how are you gonna make sure that you can confirm every appointment 100% of the time? Listen, I want you to think about right now, your careers, I want you to think about right now, how many customers don't come in and you get on the phone with them and then they don't show up? If you want 100% of your customers to show up every time and when they show up, it's like you guys are already connected, you guys already feel like you know each other, you guys already have a strong connection. Guys, that's closing. Closing starts at the beginning, guys. So let's go over the phone. Yeah, let's go over how you can add that. Here's the thing, everybody's always looking for some like manipulative trick to get people to buy something from them. Right. It, it's really not that, it's really not that hard. But first, I'd say you gotta care about your people. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918 210 0254. 918 210 0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. You gotta be able to think creatively and provide value and separate yourself from the pack. So as we talk about the phone, I want you to think about somebody and put yourself in the customer's perspective, per, in, on their side, in their shoes, on their perspective. They're calling in, man, and they're just looking for somebody alive, somebody yeah. who cares. So when we talk about value in advance, before I get into a massive tip, I just wanna talk to you about a really quick value tip. Have a great attitude, have great energy, answer the phone like you truly care. Stop having commission breath. Some mm. people answer the phone and you can Ooh. smell, you can yep. smell you that, can smell the that they wanna buy, that they wanna sell something before you even know anything about the customer. Yep. So yep. Ian and I are gonna role play a call, but yeah. real quick before, keep it in your mind. Attitude, yeah. energy. And you know what guys, these guys are people. They just wanna connect with somebody who's not trying to outsmart them or outthink them or out talk them and just really have a good honest conversation with them. So guys, if you're watching this right now, keep that in mind. Now here's one value in advance, write that down. Value in advance, I want you to think about anytime you come in contact with a customer, whether it's on the lot, in the pencil, in service, how can you add value to this customer in advance so that way when they do want to do something with your product, they're already sold. It's like making deposits before you withdraw. A lot of people right now, ATM. all they want to do is withdraw, 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 but they're not putting any money back into it. They're not depositing into people. So literally right now, if you were going to deposit into me, Ian, and we were making a call, yeah. how would that call go? Well, let's just act like you already went went through the call, we already went through the whole sales call, I'm not gonna go through a whole sales call with you, but let's just say, Evan, you're fired up, you're jacked up, I gave you the value in advance of my energy, of my attitude, I'm super excited. Before I get off the phone, I'd say, Evan, listen, man, listen to me, Evan, this call for you and your wife, you said that your wife's coming down with you, right? Right. For you and your wife to come down here, to spend your time, for you to call me today, man, I gotta tell you, this call just brightened my day, man. You're truly amazing, so whether you buy from us or not, dude, thanks for brightening my day. Dude, you're amazing, okay? Guys, that's value. That's charisma. He's like, who's this guy, man? This guy's great. Okay, so, but before I let Evan off the phone, I'm gonna say, Evan, you and your wife, can you tell me her name so I can write that down? Her name's Jacqueline. Jacqueline. So I'm gonna write down Jacqueline's name. That way, when I see Jacqueline roll up outside of the dealership, I can say, Jacqueline, how you doing? Evan, welcome into the dealership. So glad, man. Hey, your husband, he had me so fired up earlier. He's such a great guy. Man, I love him, okay? Jacqueline, you're amazing. Now, before I let him off the phone, guys, think about this real quick. 
Think about this. Are you willing to invest in your customers? Are you willing to invest in making sure that appointment shows up every time? I'm gonna say something like this. Evan, you ready? Yeah. You I'm ready, ready, Evan? I'm, I'm gonna ready. say something Give like this. Some you're gonna, you're give gonna, me some more value. You're, gonna, hey, you're gonna, gonna you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. So I'm gonna say, hey Evan, listen, and there could be a Starbucks across the street from you, a McDonald's across the street from you, a Sonic across the street from you. Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna say, hey Evan, um, before we get off the phone, I know that you're coming in with you, your wife, and your one kid. Listen, I just wanna make sure that we have something for your wife. What is she like from Starbucks? Like, what is your wife like from Starbucks that I could get? No, her? dude, I'm okay. You don't have to do that. Hey, see, Evan, the way that it works in my house, if you came over, my wife, she would feed you. So I have a promise to her that I'm going to give you value in advance. Make sure that before you even come into this dealership, you know that you're like family to us. You know that we love you. So I've got to do that for you. So I don't care if we get you something hot, something cold, or an empty cup. It doesn't matter to me, but I got to get you something. What do you want? What does she want from oh. Starbucks? When she goes to Star Starbucks, what do you think she likes? She likes like the caramel macchiatos. Caramel macchiato done. What do you like? Dude, you're going to get that for her? Hey, done, dude. It's a promise to me. So you got to have Just that for me. Me like a strawberry, one of those like fruity refreshments. You sound like you like the little fruity refreshments. I do like you know the fruity like that. Hey, I like them too. They are kind of refreshing. Yeah, they're kind of good. They're good. I, mean, I got you. Embarrassing hey, done. I got you. Hey, Evan. Before when I get off this phone call, what I'm also doing is I'm going to send you a video real quick. I want you to watch the video so you know who I am, so you can see my face, so you see that like who I am and where we're at. Is that cool? Yeah, that's so. Check good. this video out. When I get off the phone from him, guys, I'm the leader of me. Some of your stores have to tell you to send a uh, like a video to every one of your people. I don't understand. We were doing this ten years years ago when we wanted to sell 50, 60, 70 cars. And in order to do that, dude, you had to do the little things mm -hmm. right. You had to sell the sizzle. You had to actually stand out. You had to be a Navy SEAL, not a baby SEAL. Just like, wah, wah, wah. I don't want to do the work. Guys, listen to me real quick. If you're out there, you've probably been doing 50% of the work and being getting paid 100% of the profit. Ooh, explain because, that. Well, the market's been so high, your skill is down here, and you've been putting 50% of the work and you've been getting paid 100% of the money. See, I had to do value in advance in every customer. Kobe Bryant said, man, he wasn't bigger than everybody, stronger than everybody, faster than everybody. He didn't have bigger hands than everybody, but he did a lot of the little things better than everybody else. A lot of the biggest companies out there, they're not better in every area. Just they're better at the small things, guys. When this customer rolls in, and I, and by the way, check this out, I send them a video 15 minutes before their appointment is like, hey, I got your coffee right here. Hey, you already know where I'm at. You got the video, you see me. Well, when they see me, Evan, they're like, dude, I already know who this guy is. Well, also, you just eliminated that weird yeah. part of the deal where they're yes. walking in. Yeah. Like, I'm putting my guard up because I'm the man. Yeah. My wife's behind me. You're going around my wife and you're asking me, hey, Jacqueline, right. I got your coffee. Dude, I'm already at peace. Yeah, so you're happy, guys. So check this out. When they roll up, just imagine your customer experience. Just imagine. Guys, think of customer experience. Everybody write customer experience down. That's what we're going back to. That's what Evan and I are used to. That's what we did for the last 10 years. No more take it or leave it attitude. It's no more take it or leave it. It is massive value. They have to feel like they want to buy before they're ready to buy it. And that's a closer bottom dollar. Let me explain something to you. People buy number one logically, but emotionally is the thing that overrides everything. So are you playing to these people's emotions? Are you actually going further? Are you taking it a step further? Or are you looking for the easy stuff? Which by the way, the easy stuff, guys, let me just tell you, it doesn't pay. Exactly. It doesn't pay the big money. Okay? So let's talk about it. Now, Ian explained the phones. But I want to explain a car, a customer that just pulls up on the lot, right? Mm -hmm. So Ian explained the value in advance. You got a customer that pulls up on the lot, Ian. How do you give them value? Well, so that customer that was you, right there. You don't yeah. know. But real quick on that phone one, just to really quickly in that one, when they're pulling up and I walk outside with that okay. coffee, that connection's at an all-time high. They feel like they know me. They're overjoyed that I'm not just a freaking loser that's just sitting on my, you guys see them sitting right there on their asses, not doing nothing. I'm not one of those guys. I'm fired up. I'm happy. I walk out with their cup, their coffee. I'm excited, man. Dude, that's value in advance. Right there, dude, if you just did that, that'd change your whole freaking career. And if you thought about what could I get these people before, not about what I, could I take, but what could I give? Ooh. What could I give, not what could I take? Stop having the take it attitude. I gotta sell, sell, sell. Dude, it's not about you, man. It's about them, their hard earned money. What can I give them? What can I make this experience amazing for them? See, that's an entrepreneur and that's a real sales pro that's gonna go to the top. So anyways, the customer, they'll pull up. Let's talk about the customer, the lot up. Number two is the lot up. 
If you have a lot of guys and the customer pulls up, Evan, I want you to tell them how you would do the value in advance if they're here because you haven't had time to prepare for them now. Yeah. So they're here, they're in front of you. Yeah. You've never met them. Yeah. You don't know who they are. How do you add value to these people? I'm rolling up, Evan. Whoa. Let's just role play real quick. I got my wife with me. I got my son with me. How are you gonna add value to me and make me feel, help make that connection go to an all-time well, high? Number one, I'm not gonna come out with some BS greeting like, hey, are you here to see somebody? Is there anything I can say? I'm gonna say, hey, you're welcome. Welcome to uh, Camelback Toyota man you're at the best toyota store in the world Thank i see you. you got your wife i'm gonna greet your wife mm -hmm. and then i'm gonna greet your kid mm -hmm. and then i'm gonna say hey listen by the way real quick before we start anything do you mind if i make you a quick promise sure go do you ahead. mind if i make you a quick promise whether you buy anything today sure i'm just thankful that you guys are here you guys are some awesome people the fact that i get to serve you today i want to over deliver and make sure everything all your questions get answered and you guys get treated phenomenal appreciate before it. i do anything guys i want you to write this down make your customer a big promise they're getting out of the car. Can we disarm them? Can we say, hey guys, listen, real quick, before we do anything, thank you for coming in. Thank you for giving me a chance to serve you. And then I'm going to identify that Ian's got his son. He's got his wife with him. And I'm gonna say, guys, real quick, follow me inside. I just wanna give you a little bit of information. We got 400 cars out here. I just wanna be able to better serve you. Does that sound fair? Cool. And then they're gonna follow me inside. What I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna grab some coloring books. I'm gonna grab a couple of little Hot Wheel cars and I'm gonna hand them to Ian's son. And I'm gonna talk to the son for a second. Then I'm gonna talk to the wife and get her engaged. So you're the saying, deal. I'm pulling everybody close. Yeah. And so what you're saying is when I go inside, instead of just running out to the lot and going and looking at a car and having zero value, zero connection, and being an order taker of the old market, you're gonna be a pro bring them inside, make them a big promise, make them feel respected and loved, and then say, hey man, real quick while we talk about what I'm gonna get you for you guys, here real quick, can I give him a Hot Wheel? Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Like this little guy's dying for a Hot Wheel. Guys, you guys wanna see what a closer is? This little guy right here, he's gonna help me close the deal. He's a closer. He's you a closer. Seen? Kids okay. ask questions more than half of you guys. They get what okay. they want every so time. So when that little kid is down here and he's all excited, he's all fired up, he's like, oh my God, this is great. Thank you for the car. Well, if he's got a great attitude, he's got a great state listen that's gonna be what a closer is I'm bringing his state up I'm bringing I'm getting him excited that way if there's a problem I'm like hey dude do you like the car hey go tell your parents how much you like the car man come on work for me here man listen kids sometimes they lose their state and then the deal gets lost right here so just think about that be aware be like extra aware of what's yeah. going on so I would get them something does that separate me from everybody else on the road yes do I get the wife something? Hey, I gotta yes. get you something. I gotta get you an empty cup, whatever. Doesn't matter, getting you something. Yes, I'm gonna get you something, guys. That's value in advance to start the sale, to keep the connection high, to go back to selling the sizzle, not just giving away the steak, okay? I'll tell you something that's really advanced. One of my guys, he's the number one Toyota salesman in Arizona. He has little gift bags already planted on his desk. His wife makes about 30 of them a week mm -hmm. and he hands them to people before they even buy something, Ian. So, I mean, before they even buy something, guys. He's you know, thanking them for their time. I mean, I know that's a little, that's I know. a little. It's crazy. That's a little before, crazy. Before they even buy something, they get a gift, okay? Does that like cue your brain to start thinking bigger? It should, okay? It should really just like jar you. Right now, our goal is- By the way, he's been in the business six months. Yeah six months and he's number one at a big big store okay but you know that's called you're gonna have to do more you're gonna have to like yep. think harder listen some of you guys work hard out there you work really hard but you're missing some of the small things and you're not thinking as hard as you work so think hard during this video our goal is just to create some like open space in your mind where you're like man that's what i could do i could do something man i could do this extra okay so if you do extra you're gonna get rewarded for extra let's go on to the other one yeah ne n the next one i want to talk about is social media it's the most critical way that you can provide value in advance to your customers and stop selling one to one, but start selling one to 500, one to a thousand. Most of you guys are watching this channel right now because Andy Elliott provides massive value in advance before you even buy something. You know, and we put it out on social media. We're giving you free content that's usually educative, it's informative, or it's entertaining. So if you're watching this and you want to build your brand, make sure it's one of those three things. That's the critical things. Yeah, and put some content out there. Be able to explain who you are, what you do, how good you are. What what you do and how you can separate yourself from everybody else. Say that again. Listen, explain who you are, how good you are, what you do, where you're at, and how you can help them. And really, you know, inform the public. Put yourself out there. You know, we have branding and marketing videos and things like that and courses that you can actually learn exactly how to sell one to a hundred, one to a thousand, and really put your message everywhere 
so that they buy from you and they don't end up going and having a bad experience from somebody else. You know, my favorite thing that value in advance that's ever happened to me is, and you guys might think, you guys might like this too. When you're walking through the mall, say you're walking through the food court and somebody hands you free samples yeah. before you get to buy something, how excited are you to go right back up to oh, like, that's to buy their food? Because you know, you get handed some chocolate then now all of a sudden you're hungry for a whole bunch of chocolate. Yep. You know what I mean? You get handed some of that little Chinese food, next thing you know, you weren't even in the mood for Chinese food and you're getting a taste of it. So give your customers a taste of like what the it good looks life. like. Give your customers good a life. taste of a good sale. And, and guys, this is what separated the, the really good people who were really breaking records, who were really making the money yep. back when we sold versus the people who weren't. Guys, you know that there's people that aren't gonna do these things, but the people that are the true leaders of themselves, the people that really wanna make the money, they're gonna do a lot of the little things better than everybody else, okay? So, what's value in advance also gonna help you with? Your CSI, it's gonna keep your CSI high. Yes. It's gonna keep your referrals high. It's gonna keep your gross high. It's literally the game changer if you pick up what we're putting down for you to go to the next level, serve your customers at the highest level, have the best customer experience, and just do the all around best job. And guys, by the way, would you put your parents or your mom or your dad through the process that Ooh, you guys are going through? That, the Listen, sales process you're going through? I, yeah, I always thought like man would I put my parents through that would I put my would I put my brother through that and well you like, put me through a lot worse yeah things. I put you through a whole lot of like bad worse shit okay but them you know I'm thinking like our camera guy back here he's an amazing guy I wouldn't put him through that okay yeah. like think of somebody who's important to you would you put them through your sales process what would you do to tactically take advantage of what you could do and not an advantage in a bad way but if like making sure that they get the best possible this experience. gets me jacked up I just want to provide so much value to my people and I want to be able to provide a service that they can't find anywhere else. My goal before they come down to the dealership or as they step out of the car and they're meeting somebody, my goal is to disarm them and solve the first three to four problems. You know, I, there's gonna be 10 problems that come up in the sale. Can you can you solve three or four of those before they even know, right Ian? Yeah, and then, you know, it's gonna kill objections. And we'll finish up here, but it's gonna kill your objections. If yep. you keep getting a lot of objections, it's because you don't have a lot of connection. And I assure you, with the car business going back to the way it was, you're gonna have have to have a lot of connection and if you struggle with connection if you struggle with any of these things it's because you're not providing enough value and this is a very good tip for you to provide value which is the noble thing to do it's the right thing to do and it's what you should be doing yeah so go on ahead guys and please like this video share this video and comment below some good tips that you use to provide value for your customers yeah and you know what this is what Andy does Andy built our business off of providing value in advance so many of you are out there watching YouTube and you've never even had to pay for anything and then you're like man I can't imagine like what these guys could really teach me if I jumped into like the university training so take your alligator arms out of your pockets and you know come on over to the university side because we're giving you value in advance that you can use that will actually change your life and if you need something you can reach me and Evan at 480-780-2203 and guys, you can just shoot me a text to that number. By the way, it's 480-780-2203. Guys, we got tons of value that we can give you. We got a million techniques that we can give you in branding, marketing, social media, confidence, objections, closing, service, whatever you need. We did it for a lot of years. We love coaching you guys. We love coaching some of the best in the world. We love coaching the up and comers. Let's go kick some butt, bring that value to the customer. That's the number one thing. If you just focused on that, it would change your entire career. I assure you. Let's go. Value in advance, baby. Woo! Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.